you're going to try to create an agenda for the presidential candidates who will be participating and competing in the March presidential primary in Florida. What's your aim? Well, the aim this year is Florida is the biggest swing state in the country. Florida has 29 electoral votes. No one who's running for president will be able to win the Oval Office without winning Florida. So my hope is that we will be able, as Florida's leaders, to put Florida first and to put together a presidential agenda of Florida-specific issues that we can put on the agenda of the presidential candidates so as they're coming through Florida, they will know what's important to the state of Florida if they want to get our votes. So in your breakout sessions, which you have every year, uh, instead of BHAG's big, hairy, audacious goals, you're looking for policy recommendations, correct? That's correct. We want This year, we want the panel discussions that are going to be taking place on the education and economy and water and, and health care and the transportation and those types of issues. We want them to look at these issues in the context of what's Florida's relationship with the federal government? What can a president of the United States do to help the state of Florida in the area of transportation, in the area of health care, in the area of the economy? Uh, one, one example is Florida had a robust space program at one point in time in the state. Huge economic driver in our state with the space shuttle program. But a few years ago, the space shuttle program shut down. So f space is just one example, is an industry, industry that's important to the state of Florida, different from other states, that we would like the federal candidates to address, the so presidential candidates to address. One of your basic uh, assumptions is that a president can make a difference to the economy and the quality of life in Florida. Uh, absolutely. Look, the President of the United States is a very powerful position. Thousands of federal employees, thousands of agency employees report to him. Everything from Homeland Security to the Department of Agriculture, to the Department of Interior, our National Park System, uh, the Department of Labor, lots of different things that the President controls. And so again, because Florida is the indispensable state to win for any presidential candidate, we want to make sure we're communicating the issues that are important to our state to those candidates as they're seeking our votes.